Coming up today on Houston Life, we have hit the road and are living it up in New Braunfels. We are in the city's historic district of Green to learn about the roots of the area and to visit the oldest and one of the most famous dance halls in Texas. It's Green Hall. Where we are right now. And we couldn't make a trip to the Hill Country without hitting the river, of course. Mel Camp will take us on a trip down the Comal River and share expert tips so you can float the river like a pro. She looks like she's having such a good out time. Good time out there. Floating the river is just one of the most popular activities that is here. But did you know you can kayak at night? Our own Enrique Ramirez checks out the glass bottom kayaks, giving riders a one of a kind view. And speaking of great views, check this out. We're going to show you where you can wake up every morning to the sounds of water and the rustle of trees just steps away from one of the biggest attractions in New Braunfels. Oh, it's such a fun spot, Derek. And after you finished your outdoor fun, there is no better way to end the day than with friends and a cold drink. We are checking out two options. Krause's Cafe, where it's a party every single night. And Guadalupe Brewing, where great craft beers are always on tap. That's where Mel Camp is hanging out. Mel? Oh, and the beautiful craft beer is also in my hand. Yes, this place is amazing. Take a look, Guadalupe Brewing Company. It has so many perfect pockets to enjoy a beer. There's no one here at the moment. We've got the place to ourselves. So we are gonna explore and see the food you can eat, the beer you can drink, and meet the people behind the magic. That's coming up on Houston Life. Cheers. Live from Studio B and KPRC2, Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this very special edition of Houston Life, coming to you from New Braunfels. I'm Derek Shore. And I am Lauren Kelly. I feel like I'm in my second home. I absolutely love New Braunfels. We've made a trip out of it for many years. I'm super happy to be here. And Green Hall, where we are right now, this place is legendary. I remember when I first moved to Texas, one of the first recommendations people made is you got to go to New Braunfels, you got to check out Green Hall, which, by the way, is located in the Green Historic district in New Braunfels. It was settled more than 150 years ago in 1872. Green Hall was built a few years later in 1878 and is the oldest continually operating dance hall in Texas. And not much has physically changed since the hall was first built. We'll have more on that coming up and some of the legendary acts, of course, Lauren, oh. who have played here over the decades. George Strait, Willie Nelson, Garth Brooks. John I Travolta. mean, the list goes on. It does. For sure. I love the spot so much. Well, Derek and I made it out here this morning, but some of the team got lucky and they got to come out here early. Okay, so when we say they got lucky, we, we actually yeah, mean it. Yeah. So we couldn't decide who would go early and who would stay back in Houston <laughs> yesterday to do the show. So we decided to do it the old-fashioned way. We drew straws. Lauren, you and I came what, what up happened? short. <laughs> Look at Enrique and Mel. They're so proud. And, of course, we are so happy for Mel and Enrique as well. I know that they have been out here exploring some of the fun, which obviously we've seen them have. They were posting some fun socials. Uh, but there's some great new activities New Braunfels has to offer. There is so much to do here for singles, couples, families. There's literally something for everyone and something for everyone of all ages. And that is so true. True, whether it's the water park or the wine tasting yep. or grabbing a glass of craft beer. One thing that we love to do with our friends, we love to rent a house or a condo, get a group of people, go tubing on the river, yeah. maybe get a bag of margaritas, take out somewhere. Yeah, yeah. he says bag, a, a bag, bag of you, margaritas. You've got to use a bag. That's very <laughs> important. And the team was supposed to be working on segments when Mel and Enrique and the rest of the crew came out yesterday. I know they were doing a little bit of work, but the pictures they've been posting tell a little bit of a different story so yeah <laughs> look. it looks like some fun <laughs> yeah mel is having drinks at krause's cafe uh all smiles there absolutely they had some lunch at chris mill restaurant which by the way one of our favorites their mel is with christy and it's right here next to green hall if you haven't been it's a must add to your list it's got this rustic themed indoor space gorgeous views from the tiered outdoor patios and the food 
It's magnificent. It's so good. In fact, Brandon said he wished he was able to come today Aww. just so he could eat at the Chris Mill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So the team also went to Texas Tubes along the Comal River. And, uh, you know, they look like pros. I they went to those so tubes much. for the day. Yeah, hanging out by the river at their hotel. They stayed at the courtyard by Marriott in New Braunfels River Village. It is a beautiful spot right there by the river. It's perfect for a morning cup of coffee or an evening glass of wine, which check, yes, that is definitely on my list of things to do when I come to New Braunfels. Well, it's so perfect. There's our producer, Christy. Yes. Uh, in case our viewers don't know her, obviously they're relaxing and enjoying after a hard day's work. And I love it. Everything here is so close by. So you can stay, you can have a glass of, of coffee Shopping, or a cup of antiquing. coffee. Shopping, <laughs> Shopping, antiquing. There's the hat shop. <laughs> you can do all <laughs> kinds of things. Hey, what's on your agenda for the afternoon? Hey, of course I have to go to Schlitterbahn Water Park. And the water park itself is amazing, but I've got some good, fun places to stay on the resort that I have to show you. The kiddos are going to absolutely love it. Okay, I think I might have an idea where you're going. Our viewers, you definitely don't want to miss that. Lauren, have fun. All right, I'm going to go. Catch you a little later. Okay. Will you bring me back a beer, please? The bar's right yeah. behind us. Okay, well, Lauren heads out. Let's get a closer look at some of the fun our team has been having so far. Floating the river is arguably one of the top activities here in New Braunfels. And last year, Mel Camp did her very first float right after she had moved here. Now she's practically a pro. She has all kinds of helpful tips you need to know before you grab your tube and hit the river. I have my tube. I'm ready to go. But before we hit the water, i got to get the rules of the river. Okay, Coley, what do we bring? What do we leave behind? On this river, we have a few rules. Um, this is the legal size cooler for the Comal River. It is a 30 quart cooler. Do not bring any glass or styrofoam. This has to be one of these type of hard coolers. And uh, if we don't have a 30 quart cooler, we, we can do rent, rent them. them. We rent them here. Um, we'll be glad to set you up with that. We have a, a, a disposable container band, so you need to bring non disposable objects. These are perfect Yeti cups with a good lid that you can close so that water doesn't get in the top. We really like these jugs here, kind of your tennis player jug. It's insulated, so keeps things colder longer. And also when you go through the chute in those areas, um, you know, the water doesn't get down in here. You don't want to dilute your drink. <laughs> no, 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 not with river water, that's for sure. These are excellent. You need to bring one of these if you want to bring any kind of snacks or anything like that. Uh, you cannot bring bags. You do not want to bring something like this. I was going to say, no plastic wrappers. No wrappers, nothing that you would normally discard. Wait, but if I were to go like this, pull this out of the wrapper, now you are totally to fine. Yes. <laughs> Leave and, this behind. All right, um, so we're looking at here, like water bottles, that's a no. That's a no. Styrofoam. That's a no. That's a no. Any, okay. Anything that you're normally going to throw away, you cannot take. It. Okay. Okay, if you would throw it in the dishwasher or you would normally wash it and reuse it, it's probably a good test that you can bring that on the river. Keep the river beautiful. And I tell you, I was a little skeptical about this this uh, disposable container band, but our river is beautiful and it's clean. You can see the bottom, there's no trash. It has really made a big difference in the amount of trash that has, has ended up in our river. This river is the only river in the world that begins and ends in the same city. And it's also the shortest river in the world. But it does take you three hours to float it. Yes, today it's taken probably about three hours. Um, we're supposed to get some pretty heavy rains this weekend, which will bring up the aquifer, which feeds this river. Um, it could go to two hours. That's the normal float is two to two and a half hours for this river wow. under normal conditions. How many times have you floated the river? I don't know. I've, I've done this 28 years, so I, I don't know. I am going in. Hey, good float. <laughs> good, happy floating. Here we go. This is float love.
ski swimming somewhere. Bye, people! Container, so you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I cut you off. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the point. <laughs> that is a full three-hour float, and it's so heavenly, so awesome. Honestly, I could keep going. And even though it's really sad that the trip has come to an end, the cool thing is there is a shuttle waiting to take you home. So guys, did you love it? Yeah. The water is so calming and relaxing, but the shoots are so fun. It was a great experience. We loved it. We love the Kamal. And if you want to float the day away, you will find all the info Mel shared as well as hours and details at texastubes.com. Looks like so much fun. Well, KPRC2 and Houston Life have your chance to win an adventure pack this summer in New Braunfels. You can win a two-night stay at that Courtyard River Village gift card to Grapevine Wine Bar. Tickets to Schlitterbahn, a tubing four-pack. The list goes on and on. You also get other gift cards to several restaurants in the area. You can visit HoustonLife.tv. TV. If you're not already an insider, you can sign up totally free for your chance to win. And that total prize pack value is more than 1400 bucks. That's a good one. All right, coming up, all the fun things your family can do at the Schlitterbahn Water Park this summer. But first, one of the most famous dance halls in the U.S. We're going to learn all about the history that's been made on the stage right here at Green Hall. Plus, why a brand new honor could be on the way. That's when Houston Life returns right after this. Welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Life. We're having such a great time. Made the short drive out to New Braunfels uh, today, just a couple hours, and we were here. And you know, you can't talk about New Braunfels without mentioning the Green Historic District. And right now, we are in the legendary historic Green Hall. I am joined by its owner, Mary Jane Nally. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on Houston Life. Uh, this place is so legendary. 18 what 78 is when it all began somewhere in that neighborhood yes <laughs> a lot of people talk about it as one of the most legendary dance halls not just in texas but in the united states why mary jane do you believe it deserves that title i think it just has a strong reputation from the very beginning of a social center that people gravitated to originally and it still is that only more because as the population grows we have more artists come it's just a historic venue initially, but people love this place. It's iconic. They bring their kids after they've grown up. They've worked at the grist mill. They come back and bring their kids to the hall. It's a fascinating place, and people come here for all kinds of things. Wakes, weddings, receptions. Nolan Ryan had his birthday party here, his 50th birthday party. I mean, oh my goodness, it's iconic. George Strait got started here. Uh, Garth Brooks ha on his first tour through Texas played here. So it's just one of those things that just keeps building and building. Even John Travolta was here. You yes. mentioned Willie Nelson. There's a story behind the special Willie Nelson door here at Green Hall. Can you tell us that story? It's I a good one. Yeah, I can. I, you know, the first time he was going to play here, he was a little bit nervous because he knew this big crowd in the hall and there's not really any room to walk through it to get to the stage because we don't have a green room, right? It's just a little ante room outside the men's restroom. So we, we devised this way that he could get in the hall quickly without, you know, ruffling his feathers. So we cut a hole in the chicken wire on the side of the building right by the restroom and we created a, a 
uh, steps out there. And so that's how he came in the hall. Well, it is such a great story. And to to date, do people still use the Willie Nelson door? Oh, for sure they do. In fact, his son Lucas played here recently and he said, Dad told me I could use the door. Is it okay? And I said, sure. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so. Before we leave today, we're going to see if Mary Jane will let me use that door. Uh, it's quiet now. We have a, a little bit of a crowd here. You open every day at 11 a.m. Who's playing tonight? Wade Bowen. He'll play tonight and tomorrow night. Fantastic. And you were telling me before the show, Mary Jane, it gets busy around 10.30 p.m.? Well, that's when the crowd gets a little haywire, right? Because, you know, we have an opening act usually and then the... The main act comes on at 10 or 10.30, so everybody's had a few beers and had a chance to visit with their friends, and then they're here to hear, hear live music or dance a little bit in the background. I know owning a business like this uh, is probably a lot of hard work. You own several businesses right here in the historic Green District. A lot of businesses many of our viewers would know. We do. We own the Grist Mill, which is an 800 seat restaurant it's most, legendary most people don't know about that but it is 800 seats sits right on the bank of the guadalupe river we have seven seven different dining facilities it's an old cotton gin so it's a very iconic place to actually go eat as well the water tower that is right outside uh, sort of between where the grist mill is and green hall here the water tower almost did not make it can Correct. you tell us a little bit more about the history of green hall because what's incredible now is when you step into Green Hall, it sort of feels like you are stepping back in time because the building has been virtually untouched since it was first constructed. Is that true? That is true. That is actually true. The water tower was created as it is now in the early 1900s because their uh, original water tower was too, it wasn't adequate. And so it was built in, in the early 1900s. And then uh, when we came, the guy that actually bought the town initially and was reselling things to us for example he was running out of money unfortunately and so he sold the water tower and at that time the water tower was also on the National Register of Historic Places because that happened in 1975 and the water tower issue was in 1977 so long story short we spent 10 days in court saved the water tower and Otherwise, it wouldn't be here. It's an iconic marker to the town, obviously. It is iconic. And the history of this historic green district, I think, is fascinating because it went through some rough times. There were cotton fields right. uh, that essentially went bad because of a weevil infestation. Is that true? Correct. That is and correct. And then you had the stock market crash. Yes. There was a, a series of unfortunate events that almost left this area sort of like a ghost town, right? It, it certainly did. When we first came, it was not looking good. <laughs> And how did you have the vision to revive it? It, it? Because it truly is incredible. When we got in here today, not only was the drive beautiful, there are wildflowers everywhere, but people are wandering around, making memories together. There's like a nice slow pace here. So when you came here decades ago, it was very different. It was really a slow pace then. There were actually rabbit hutches in the beer garden. There was a cow out there. There was a washing machine somewhere on the grounds. So it was wow. really kind of in disrepair. And you know, it's really the vision of my business partner, Pat Molak. He really wanted to do something that had to do with music because he liked live music. He was not happy doing, being a stockbroker or a commercial real estate person any longer. So he had some friends that were looking for different places around the hill country and we started looking around and he found this place and that's kind of the short story. but. That's what happened. It truly is incredible. And I'm guessing that back then, Mary Jane, you had no idea that it would become such a legendary spot in town. Can we brag for a moment, by the <laughs> way, because you just received a Texas Travel Award and also, very exciting, you were nominated for Best Venue by the ACM, the American Country Music Association. Yeah, I'm getting chills now that you're talking about that. That is really an exciting thing. What was your reaction when you heard this news? I was semi-speechless for a while, and that's pretty unusual for me. Well, congratulations. It's well-deserved. Uh, before we let you go, special events during the week. You have something called Two Ton Tuesdays, Yeah, is that that's right? a really fun event. It's been going on for almost 30 years now, and Two Tons of Steel is a band that plays here on Tuesday night. They're rockabilly, and that this place goes crazy then. It's so much fun. Two Tons Tuesday. 
Uh, can I ask, do your feet get sore after owning a business like this? Because the song and the dance truly is, as you mentioned, people celebrate their weddings here. They celebrate wakes here, birthday parties, anniversaries. And you see people coming from all over the United States. We literally do. And internationally, quite frankly. I've been to Europe before and seen green hall shirts on people. You're it's kidding. Hysteric. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> what is that like? It's like, oh my gosh. So I go talk to him. It's really fun. Okay, any highlights we need to know about upcoming concerts throughout this season? Well, you know, Sleep at the Wheel, they're amazing. They were one of the very first bands that played here that was a bigger name in the early days. So they're coming back, of course, in the summer. And we just have a lot of fun regional acts, so it'll be great. Well, it is a legendary spot. Mary Jane Nally, co-owner of Green Hall. What a cool business. What a thank cool you. life you have. And thank you, thank you for bringing so much vibrancy and life to this lovely spot in New Braunfels. You're quite welcome. It's a pleasure. We're lucky to be here. We can't wait to hang around and hear a yeah. bit of live mm -hmm. music. I brought my dancing boots. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for that. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, once again, for more information, you can always visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Okay, we're going to shift gears now. And coming up, what would it be like to wake up and feel like you're in the trees and hear the sounds of a rushing river? We're going to take you inside a place to stay with a relaxing country vibe, a treehouse themed resort with suites to fit the entire family. And next, whether you are a water slide racer or a lazy river rider, you can spend days at Schlitterbahn. Trust me, you will never get bored. Lauren Kelly shows us what's happening at the water park this summer when Houston Life returns. Don't go away. Welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Life coming to you from New Braunfels. Okay, so the temperature outside is rising. The kids are just about out of school. So it is the perfect time to think about packing up the car and making the drive to a water park. Lauren Kelly, who's having all the fun today, has made her way over to Schlitterbahn and something tells me she's found some fun. Hi, Lauren. Well, it is about that time. The heat is up and the water park is almost open. Schlitterbahn here in New Braunfels is one of the best in the world because it has pretty much the best rides and the best staff here. Come on over, Angela. You are a veteran of, veteran of over 20 years here at Schlitterbahn. <laughs> First of all, when can guests officially start enjoying Schlitterbahn Water Park this summer? Well, Schlitterbahn is open weekends right now, but the official summer season kicks off Memorial Day weekend. And we're not talking any water park. How many acres of water park is Schlitterbahn? There is 70 acres <laughs> of water park with over 50 attractions. And New Braunfels is an amazing place to come. And there is something for everyone at Schlitterbahn. Something for everyone, something for all ages. What are we looking at behind us? Which rides do we have here? Well, this is our world famous award winning blast tower with the master blaster uphill water coaster. <laughs> and there's two other rides that are amazing too, the Black Knight and the Wolfpack Family Ride. Now for families watching who want to come out this summer, they want to get the season pass. What are the details on that? Oh, well, the season pass is very easy and is a great value right now. In fact, for our friends in Houston, if you buy a Texas 2 Splash, uh, you can get this it's all summer to Schlitterbahn New Braunfels and Galveston. So it's a great deal and the price goes up after Memorial Day. I'm telling you, that is the best way to do it because after only a few visits, it pays for itself, it right? It totally does. Yeah. It really is a great family value for family fun. And my kids come here all the time. Now, after you being a veteran here for so many years, yes. could I ask you what is your favorite ride here? Oh, that is such a great question. Honestly, my favorite ride is right beside us. Yeah. It is the Torway River. It is an endless river of waves and you you can just go around and around and it's relaxing and exciting at the same time. The best ride. Oh my God, you said the keywords that are music to my ear. Relaxing and exciting at the same time. Angela, info on season passes and park hours, where can we find it? You can get all of that information at Schlitterbahn.com as well as see any events that are happening and any changes go follow us on social and just see everything there. So if I need to go purchase a bathing suit, can you direct me in the right direction? Oh yeah, we actually have really great retail options Good. and I bought my daughter a swimsuit here yesterday. Okay, I'm going to go do the same thing and maybe some sunscreen too. Yes, perfect. <laughs> All right, Derek, back to you. 
Lauren, thanks so much. You can check out the water park calendar or buy your ticket or season pass by visiting them online, schlitterbahn.com. All right, up next, two of the coolest places to grab a beer in the Texas Hill Country. We are taking you inside a cool spot, a beer garden serving up authentic German food in the heart of New Braunfels. And Mel Camp is trying out the craft beers at Guadalupe Brewing. Mel? Oh my goodness, I'm halfway through my beer. I think I need a top up, but look at this. Guadalupe Brewing Company have a pizza kitchen. And if you swing over here, check out this beautiful little area where you can enjoy a brew. And I am heading towards where they make this magic. And I'm gonna get a top up, all right? And we will find out more about Guadalupe Brewing Company coming up on Houston Life. Cheers. Welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore coming to you from the legendary Green Hall in the legendary historic Green District of New Braunfels. And making the drive out here this morning, there were such beautiful wildflowers on the side of the road. And truly the history of this part of Texas and, and the people in town are what makes it so special. So today on Houston Life, we are highlighting some of the popular spots to hang out in town. So you've got a little roadmap when you plan your next vacation here. And if you're looking for a spot to gather with friends, have a nice meal, grab an ice cold drink, you have got to check out the iconic Krause's. How's it going? Chef Boomer here at Krause's Cafe. Another night of music and great food here in New Braunfels, Texas. We've been a staple here in New Braunfels since 1935 and we just keep growing and getting bigger and better. We got over 100 beers on tap, great German music, German food, so come on out. We are definitely German food with a Texas twist. So we call this our pavilion area. In the pavilion, we have music, live music, five days a week. We're open seven days a week, three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When we reopened in 2017, we added this big beer hall right next to us. So very German style tables. So all the flags going around our beer hall here represent the founding German families that found New Braunfels in Texas here. So it all has their last names. If you're German, come find your last name up here. Here is our beer wall here, as we call it. We got eight, over 80 taps right here. Everything, we start from our German beer and then all the way down to your domestics and your Texas local craft beers. So I'm gonna pour you a nice German beer here. Our most popular is our Hofbrau Original. Gross. So this is the original cafe. This is all original Krause's was, was just this cafe. We never had the beer hall or the taps, any of that outside. It, it was just this and they would just come in and it used to be actually just a little buffet right outside the kitchen here. And all the old school Germans used to sit there all day and eat and drink. And actually when we remodeled, we took all, a lot of the old wood and stuff and built our tables out of it. Food wise, so some of our most popular dishes are obviously all of our local made sausages. Schnitzels are a big hit and of course our Schweinhocks is which is a nice big pork shank which is nice and braised over some potato cake. The Maskruzamen is a big deal in this town which is holding that liter of beer who can hold it the longest and we do it, we just started it last weekend, we do it every Saturday and the champion we actually send off to New York. We have all kinds of events from armadillo races to wiener dog races, it's something different and fun and brings everybody together. It's just the history, so it, it's really good. It's a staple. A lot of people, the locals who have been around a long time know it and we try to make them feel at home. If you're in New Braunfels area, you gotta come check us out. We're a staple. We always have events going on. You can check us, check out our website. All the live events and music is on there. And then of course, we always have food specials every day too. All right. Well, craft beers have become a staple in Texas, and that certainly is the case here in New Braunfels. But there's one local brewery that truly stands out. It's run by a couple whose attention to the finest ingredients and people makes them a standout. It's called Guadalupe Brewery, and we sent our very own Mel Camp to check it out. 
This is amazing here. Can you see what I am seeing, guys? Yes, Guadalupe Brewing Company is dog friendly. They have so many beautiful outdoor spaces where you can enjoy a beer or two. I need a top up, so I've brought you into the tap room and we are gonna chat with Keith and Anna. You guys are the owners behind the magic here. This is the most beautiful place. Oh, thank you. It's so wonderful. Um, and if you look over behind, this is where you're actually brewing your beers. You have, how many? I lost count, 28 plus beers on tap here. Right, we've got 28 beers on tap um, in, in Psalms Hall, Guadalupe Hall, we have 26. And then we've got 12 uh, taps at the uh, pizza kitchen. It's so amazing. There's a pizza kitchen outside. There's another tap room. I mean, it's just amazing the scope of this space, not to mention all the little pockets of beer gardens that you can sit in and enjoy. It's just so magical. And we were chatting, Anna, about the name, which is kind of obvious. You would think Guadalupe after the river here mm -hmm. in New Braunfels, but there's a deeper meaning for you guys. Yes, my grandmother is from Divine, Texas. Her name was Guadalupe. We love the Guadalupe Mountains. Um, I always said a good brewery had to be named after a river as well and uh, just Guadalupe County is where I grew up too. Oh my gosh, so there's just, I mean, I just, I, f I keep saying magic, but I really am feeling it. And I'm well and truly into this one. Okay, so you've got a lot of different flavors. This is the coconut pilsner. It's unbelievable. I do find sometimes the more flavored beers can taste a little like not real flavor, but there's a secret well, to extract, your flavors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so what we do is we take as a base, a German pilsner, um, and we roast coconut and actually uh, infuse it into the, the beer. Oh my goodness. So it's real ingredients and... Have you ever made a flavor that didn't work? Because you have a lot of, there's coconut, there's tropical, there's, there's some good ones in we've, there. We've tried a lot of things, but we've gotten better as time has, has gone on. I think we've done everything wrong once. <laughs> So <laughs> you just experiment, <laughs> right? It sounds like fun. And you guys, how many years have you been doing this? 14 years, 14 years since we started the project. Um, I had to go to school for a couple of years and we mm -hmm. traveled. Um, then we nailed down our location next door. Um, I guess we stayed over there seven years. Yeah. Yeah. And then we bought the property over here and we've been over here now for, um, since what? June of 2018. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. And it's very much a local favorite. It's very much um, winning awards everywhere. I mean, what you won best brewery in. Actually, you should explain these awards that you've been picking up because there's a lot of them. Well, uh, New Braunfels voted us best brewery last year and Southern Living voted us one of the top 10 breweries in the Southwest States, which was amazing. And uh, I kind of the lose travel, track. The oh, travel. travel. Award. Yeah, we just They're got just that winning one. all yeah. these awards. I want to taste some of this beer. Let, right let's try it. Well, aside from the one that I've already been drinking and well and truly into. But um, I'm going to step over here. But Keith, let's just, this is just a very small sample of your amazing beers. Yes. Yeah, the, we have um, probably on tap right now, we probably have at least. Um, 26 beers, uh, different beers actually oh on gosh. tap. Okay, give me, I like a dark this is, beer. Let yeah, that it. is an English brown, um, okay. traditional okay. English brown. Mm -hmm. And our friends across oh the my. ocean agree, it's a good brown ale. This yeah. is really good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, I'm half English, my mom's English, but I do, I do like a dark beer and this yeah. is delicious. I think this might go well with, I'm looking, I'm right in front of this pizza. That would, uh, that's the Jazzy Gnome, which is a mushroom, uh, pizza that has a balsamic uh, glaze. Well, yeah, balsamic oh my gosh. glaze. And on this it. is yeah. the thing you've got. We saw before. You have the pizza kitchen, and this. I mean, what goes better with beer than pizza? And we have tacos as well, so we got it covered in both. And, and then if you have a pretzels, I wish we'd have brought. Oh our my goodness! Out. Wait, I want some pretzels. Let's put those on. I'm going to put in an order. But look, at, I mean, I'm not complaining because this beautiful charcuterie board. Guys, this has been absolutely amazing hanging here. If you don't mind, I will stay a little longer if Please. you'll take us. I know that Brian is probably feeling thirsty. Are you, Brian? <laughs> so we need to get this man a beer. And um, I've got to say, guys, you need to, you need to come here. This is absolutely beautiful. I can see why you're winning all the awards. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you. Um, it's delicious. I need some food. Derek, oh my goodness, I have found the most magic brewery, hands down. I love it. Cheers. Cheers. Very nice, Mel Camp. Cheers to you. I'm glad you're having a good time over there. Hey, turning now to wine. So wine lovers, don't worry, we've got you covered as well. These are wines that you can taste. There's a very special event that happens here in New Braunfels. So on the third Thursday of every month, 
you can check out Come and Taste It Thursday. Come and Taste It Thursday. I've got some examples of the local wine here. This is the Texas Unoaked Chardonnay. There is also the Green Historic District Sweet Red Wine. Just two of the wines you can taste when you come on out here. This all happens at Grapevine Wine Bar, and you can find all the details online at greentexas.com. All right. Very nice. We're going to have to crack one of those open here in just a little bit. Coming up, if you are looking for something fun to do after the sun goes down, have you ever thought of hitting the river in the dark? How about a nighttime adventure that will make a memory you won't soon forget? We'll introduce you to night kayaking. But first, Lauren Kelly has found a pretty cool spot to hang out along the river. Lauren? Well, while the family is getting ready to come to the water park, you don't want to stay in an Airbnb or a hotel. How about staying in a treehouse? Right now, we are at Schlitterbahn, and we're checking out the Treehouse Resort Suites. I'm going to go in here and show you guys a tour when Houston Life returns. Welcome back to Houston Life, coming to you from New Braunfels. So all afternoon, our very own Lauren Kelly has been hanging out at Schlitterbahn, and she discovered part of the park you may not have known about before. It's called the Treehouse Resorts, and she says that maybe staying at the Treehouse Resorts is almost as fun as the water park itself. Lauren? Well, I know summer is upon us. You're grabbing the family. You got to come to Schlitterbahn. Bon, right here in New Braunfels, one of my favorite spots growing up. I absolutely love it. But if you don't want to stay at an Airbnb or maybe you don't want to put your kids in a hotel, how about staying in a treehouse? I guess I'm really talking about a treehouse. And Angela, a veteran here at Schlitterbahn, we really can bring the family and stay at a treehouse. Yes, you can. You can come to a treehouse at Schlitterbahn, one of the hidden gems in Schlitterbahn, New Braunfels. And you can stay right beside a water park. Let's go inside and see how awesome uh, okay, it is. Okay, I need a tour of this because when you oh. say treehouse, like we're actually standing yeah, we're in a we're actually standing in a treehouse and you really don't know how big and cool it is until yeah. you're right here. All right, well, let's go inside. We were just on the patio, but look at this. You've got two full beds and you've got a kitchen over here. Yes, and this is one of our smallest rooms. This is our studio, so it only gets bigger and better for here. Let me tell you something though. We walked in and our first reaction was, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I, I gotta bring my friends and family here. You do and you can because there's plenty of room. A family, two families, a big family. You can come and bring everybody to a tree house. Quick question. The room you're in, you said this is the smallest one, but how many people will this sleep? This will sleep up to 10. Up to 10. Because you have the couch here as well, the two yeah. falls, yeah. and you've got the bathroom, yes. you've got the patio but can we just like walk a little bit further down this sure. way? Sure, let's go down this way. This is the coolest part and the part your kids will love the most. I don't know about the kids, but it looks pretty good for me too. You got the bunk beds. Like you're really in a tree. These are the bunk beds. Do you want to try them out? I did. Hold, can you hold this for one oh, second? Sure. Okay. Good night. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it fits me too. Okay, yep. Was just, okay, was just testing it out. I'm coming back down. Hold on. I'm safely coming back down. Now, Angela, yeah. tell us about how people can, can book these throughout the summer. Well, you can, of course, book them at Schlitterbahn.com and just go visit our resort section and look at all of the different kinds of rooms. We have over 200 rooms. And so even if the treehouse isn't your style, we have something for everybody at Schlitterbahn. Well, tell us a little bit more about where else people can stay. They've got the treehouse option. You do have a lot of places on, we on do, campus. We do, and most of them have a kitchen or kitchenette. It's basically like having the Airbnb experience, but you're at at Schlitterbahn, you're being taken care of, and it really is the best way to experience Schlitterbahn. A lot of families that come and they have younger kids, the last thing you want to do is pack everybody up right. and drive down to the water park and somebody's going to forget something, but when your treehouse room is really connected to the yeah, park, it's, it's right, right here. here. Yeah. You are definitely right here, and also this year, resort guests during the season can come an hour early, an hour earlier than everybody else and slide. Oh, early, wow. an early slide time at okay. Schlitterbahn. I'm going to go ahead and put my reservation in and I'm going to go ahead and claim my bunk bed. How about that? Sounds good. <laughs> All right, Angela, thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much. <laughs> Back to Bye. you guys. 
Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. It does look like a good time. I would like to dibs on one of those bunk beds as well. I'm just saying. Can you imagine you can rent that out with a whole group? So if you'd like to, you can visit them online, schlitterbond.com, and book soon because I have a feeling those sell out very, very quickly. All right, when we come back, it's a brand new perspective on floating the river. This time, we're doing it at night, a memory that both kids and adults alike can't get enough of. Oh, I see something. I see a fish. What do you see? There's just a fish. There's Is it a, a bass? I don't know. It's either a bass or a perch. I don't know. Welcome back to this special edition of Houston Life. We have been spending the day in beautiful New Braunfels. And if you've seen the show so far, you've seen that our team has floated the river. We've learned about the rich history right here in Green Hall, where I'm seated. And also, Lauren Kelly has taken us to the water park, Schlitterbahn, to explore the treetops. But we discovered something even many locals didn't know about. Check this out kayaking at night. Houston Life's Enrique Ramirez took out two dads and two sons who are locals and who discovered it for the very first time. Check this out. As the sun starts to set on the Kamal River. It looks fantastic. Way to see the river that I've, I've spent decades playing on in a whole new light. Hello. Stephen Brockman and his son Jason are getting ready to venture out into the darkness on these special illuminated kayaks. Some of the biggest joys that I had growing up here in New Braunfels was with my dad and my grandparents and enjoying the beauty and, and serenity that, that this town has. Uh, can't wait to take my son out and continue that tradition. And it's just an opportunity to share this beautiful piece of nature that's right in this beautiful little city, and I don't think we'll get a chance to see many things like this anymore. Stacy Thigpen is co-owner of Paddle Texas. Chance to experience the river when not a lot of other people are on it, and then by being in a clear boat, it brings a whole new experience and when it's illuminated. But the big thing is to see the river, to understand how precious it really is, uh, see what small differences we all make when we carry what we bring in out, and, uh, and just to make people relax. Relax and get a bird's eye view of the wildlife in the Kamal River. Try to tell people what they can see in the river from all the different varieties of fish to crawfish to we do encounter occasional snake and what have you. And some aquarium uh, pets that have made it into the river as well. Uh, but also uh, an opportunity now to see the river clean. The wildlife uh, now is accustomed to us and actually welcomes us. Stephen and Jason just shoved off and are already being welcomed by the Kamal River wildlife. Oh, I see something. I see a fish. What do you see? There's just a fish. There's is it a, a bass? I don't know. It's either a bass or a perch. I don't know. As it gets darker, I can see more and more. So yeah, it's a blast. Also out this evening are Brev Bedford and his son Gage. I've been in this area of the river a hundred times but the water has never been clear, crystal clear like it is now, because I've always been surrounded by a thousand other tubers, and then we're getting the water murky, and, uh, and now everything's calm and it's clear and it's beautiful. Now in the darkness, the kayaks light up the Kamal River wildlife. Oh, there's one right there. More crawfish. Yeah, crawfish. Well, the white with, uh, well, actually, I saw I think two crawfish, crawfish just like fighting. Like, you can definitely. <laughs> Lots of mermaids. We're right over the top of it. Oh, See the seaweed we're on top of? Oh, the mermaid. The mermaid hair. My favorite part was how we saw so many great basses and all that mermaid hair. It was really cool. Uh, my favorite part was just being out with my son on the river nice and calm, just us, nobody else. Wow, an experience truly unlike any other. Those crawfish fighting, all kinds of cool things to see on those glass bottom kayaks. And if you would like to book your own adventure, you can visit rockinr.com. And as we go to break, a look inside control room B back in Houston. Houston, do you copy? We'll see you right after the break. Well, 
we are just about ready to wrap up our day here in New Braunfels, hanging out at Green Hall. And, you know, I can't think of a better way to end the day with a great friend and maybe an ice cold drink. Lauren Kelly. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back from Schlittervon. You shall receive. Oh my Derek. gosh, that water park was so cool and those tree houses. Cheers. How Let was me it? I'll tell you something. I have come to Schlitterbahn for so many years with my family. It's always been such an easy road trip for us, but I've never seen any kind of place to stay like that. Like I said, if you don't want to do the Airbnb, if you want to stay on the property, a tree house is the coolest way that you can do it with a view of the entire park right outside your doorstep. It looks so beautiful. Yeah. And I've got to tell you, beauty really is around every single corner here in New Braunfels. It's just about 2 p.m. and looking out on the streets, in the grass, there are all kinds of families. We have a few people hanging out with us here at Green Hall enjoying Some their cocktails. first beer of the day. <laughs> they open at 11 a.m. as a reminder. And we have such a great giveaway right now on our website, HoustonLife.tv. We've got a prize pack, Lauren, that one of our lucky viewers can win. This is for a two-night stay here at the Courtyard River Village Marriott Hotel. Okay. A, a gift card to Grapevine, the, the wine bar that we mentioned earlier tonight. Yes, that sounds fun. Tickets to Schlitterbahn okay. as well. And a handful of gift cards to other spots in town, restaurants like the Grist Mill, which is legendary and one of our favorites. All of those prizes add up to more than $1,400, including that tubing four-pack. So it's it's a great little adventure to get away for. I love that people, they might only know of Schlitterbahn for the water park and for tubing, but I'm so glad that we got to share. There's so much more to do than just that. It could complete your entire week's day, right? There is, yes, there is so much to do. Uh, there's the antique shop, the yep. hat shop. Playinnewbraunfels.com is the website to visit to find all kinds of information and plan your next trip. And again, HoustonLife.tv is our website where our insiders can enter to win that prize package valued at more than $1,400, Lauren Kelly. Well, I got us some Texas beers to end the day. Of course, Shiner Buck for you. And I've got a four Firemen's from Real Ale from Blanco, Texas. So Cheers to you. Cheers and salute. Cheers to you. We'll see you next time.